Good morning and welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, May the 31st, and today we celebrate the visitation of the Virgin Mary to her cousin Elizabeth. The scripture for this service, Psalm 45, and Luke chapter 1, verse 39 to 49. And please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. You made the ebbing channel dry while Israel passed the flood. There did the church begin their joy and triumph in their God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, my heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the King. Hallelujah, Psalm 45 and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, my heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the king. My tongue is nimble like the pen of a scribe. You, O king, are fairer than the children of the earth. Grace is poured upon your lips because God has blessed you forever. O mighty warrior, gird your sword upon your thigh with your glory and your majesty, and in your majesty ride triumphantly for the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness, and your right hand shall teach you terrible things. Your arrows pierce the hearts of your enemies, and peoples fall beneath you. O God, your throne is forever and ever, and your scepter is a scepter of righteousness. O King, you love righteousness and hate iniquity, and therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your peers. Your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes. Out of the ivory palaces, stringed instruments make you glad. The daughters of kings are among your honorable ladies. And on your right stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Listen, daughter, incline your ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your master. Worship him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. The princess is glorious in her chamber, her clothing woven with gold. She is brought to you in many colored robes, and her virgin companions follow her. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into your palace. In place of your ancestors shall be your children. You will make them the rulers in all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered by all generations. Therefore, the people praise you forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the King. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 1, beginning at verse 39. In those days Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? 
For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And then Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. And surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. Please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill, for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of word and sacrament, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world, of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and Paul and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who has begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Most holy Jesus, our brother and Savior, we acknowledge you as our sovereign, and to you our praise is due. Accept these, our humble prayers, which we offer in thanksgiving for your majesty and glory. Amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.